What's up, everybody? My name is Jason, and welcome to $220 billion of EIDL loan gets paid. Oh, yes, it is Thursday, October the 8th, 2020. Please do me a huge favor. Give this video a thumbs up, hashtag EIDL with your thoughts below. Share this all over social media with hashtag EIDL. And if you'd like me to help grow your business when this madness known as EIDL is done, I ask that you please subscribe and hit the bell. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got news breaking all over the place. The president of the United States was on Maria Bartom Romo's show this morning. We had the two guys that lead up the, free, uh, the Problem Solvers Caucus in the House on Neil Cavuto. And then I've got a major bone to pick before I share an idea with you guys, or at least the beginning of, on how we can get you $10,000 of cash advance or the balance thereof in a loan, you guessed it, up to $2 million if you qualify without having to do a new bill, without having to wait on coronavirus stimulus, and without having to sit for now eight weeks in something we call reconsideration. So you're gonna wanna share not only this video, but when I come back and I may even wear a jacket in the next 48 hours to address the president, the House and the Senate as I've done several times before. But for now, to get started here, you may have seen last night Neil Cavuto's show. They had the two guys, Josh Gothheimer, a Democrat of New Jersey, and Tom Reed from my home state, a Republican in New York. I now live in Atlanta. They were basically stunned. As everybody else was, if you watched the news when the President of the United States pulled another art of the deal move and blew everything up on the one inch yard line. He did the same thing with China three times, by the way. He did the same thing with NAFTA. He did the same thing with the Iran deal. The guy blows things up multiple times before he settles on what he's happy with. It's called push and pull. Push and pull, rock the boats, confuse the hell out of you, get you dazed and confused, and then he closes it and people look around and go, well, how did that happen? Well, the stock market's up 1,200 points in three days. It's telling you a deal is real close. But what we learned on Neil's show with the two guys from the Problem Solvers Caucus is there's a $1.7 trillion and change deal. So apparently there was mass confusion. I can't figure out, somebody uh, correct me if you know, whether it's the Republicans that came up or the Democrats that came down. But according to those two guys, and again, there's 50 people, Democrats and Republicans, that put together that bill that was announced last month. There's $50 billion of EIDL grant money in the Problem Solvers Caucus bill in the House. There's at least 50 billion, perhaps 90 billion in the HEROES Act, also in the House, and the EIDL for Small Business Act, known as S4227 in the Senate, has $80 billion for the grant and another $100 billion for the loan. So the president does his thing. Everyone's going, what the hell just happened? The stock market's up four or 500 points yesterday because he says, I'm interested in doing A, B, C, and D. Just like I said he would do, he would itemize exactly what he's willing to do. And that's pretty much everything but bail out what they call the blue states like in Illinois, New York, or California. So if it's really true, ladies and gentlemen, if it's really, really true that they're at one seven and change, and those that have been with us a while know that I've been saying the final number is gonna be one eight, then we have to be hours, maybe days. I don't think it's gonna go beyond the election. So let's call it a week from getting a deal. And I've said before, the stock market never lies. The reason it's up 1,200 points and refusing to go down is all those algorithms, which are gathering all the news and all the data points, know that a deal is imminent because you got leakers everywhere. The algorithms pick up on all of that. If we were in free fall and we weren't bouncing at all, there is no deal. The reason we're up big and we're holding strong, everyone's waiting for the John Hancock and then we're probably going up another 500 to 1,000 like that. So what about this bone that I have to pick? As you guys know, I never name a hater or someone who's got a problem with me by name. I'm used to this sort of thing. When you're an alpha personality and my real middle name is actually Aries, I'm the bull in the China shop. And if you guys think for one second that approaching the president of the United States or his inner circle is going to respect a snowflake type attitude or personality, you got another thing coming. Gee, Mr. President, you know, I, I understand that you're, you're battling COVID-19 and you can't decide if you want to do the virtual debate, but could you please sort of kind of when you get a... Oh! 
We want our $10,000 or balance thereof and a loan up to $2 million if you qualify. Over and over and over, 100 times now since March, and over again. And nothing happened, remember? Four or five months, nothing happened. And then on July the 20th, there it is. S.4227 in the Senate, which is getting more and more co-sponsors. 80 billion gets you the $10,000. And if you read the bill, it sounds like I wrote it. Yes, that's my ego talking, but it's a fact. $10,000 of the balance thereof in 72 hours. No reapplication, no additional documentation. If you got terrible credit and below 570, which is required for the loan, you still get the grant. And if you don't want the loan, you get the grant or the $10,000 cash advance. And yes, a loan up to $2 million if you qualify. Watch the last 100 videos. I've been saying the same shit over and over and over and over and over again. And yes, if you guys only knew, because I've been mailing or emailing, I should say, all of my videos since June 10th Center hearing. Every senator, congressman, and woman, governor, radio and TV stations, what are you guys waiting for? You know what they're afraid of? They're afraid I'm going to get on and, and drop an F-bomb on live television or live radio. So they don't want to, they, you know, they'll talk to me behind the scenes, but they won't let me get on the show. If someone out there is watching and you want me on your radio or TV station, my contact information is in the cover photo. Reach out to me. But I'm going to be doing uh, something in the next couple of days, more on that in a second. The point is this. I am me, you are you. There's only about 10 of us, and I've mentioned them repeatedly. LA Late, Katie over at NAA Worldwide, I think it's Katie's Corner now, Andrew Cartwright, Meet Kevin, Max Maher, Aubrey Janik, uh, I Allegedly, Rod Squad, The Stephen Carlson Show, I'm sure there's a few others. If I've forgotten you, please forgive me. We're all different, but we're all fighting for the same thing. But last night or the night before, one of the channels that I've praised repeatedly, in fact, I just mentioned the name about 10 seconds ago, threw me under the bus and a handful of the subscribers, which is nothing new, saying that I'm basically full of shit and I don't know what I'm talking about. In fact, you've seen some comments that got blocked today saying the same thing. So let me share something with you right now and then I'll pin it in the top comment. It's called the SBA Disaster Assistance Update, Nationwide EIDL Loan slash COVID-19. As of September the 14th, and the new report comes out in a few days, there have been, are you listening to me? 3,589,667 loans as of this morning when I called, over 4 million now. They're adding $30 billion a month of funded EIDL loans. I'm not talking about the grant. The average loan size, according to James Rivera at the SBA, is $62,000. And the total amount as of September the 14th is $190,365,000,000 in change. And again, if you add... Uh, uh, 30 billion to that, you're at 220. So ladies and gentlemen, why does that make sense? If you remember Big Ben Cardin in the June 10th Senate hearing when he was grilling Miss Carranza, head of the SBA, on why she was rationing the grant, and he said, Miss Carranza, we've given you $350 billion for idle. It was appropriated. Well, if we've drawn down, ladies and gentlemen, 220 billion over the last seven months and change, it explains why there's 130 billion left on the sidelines as of this morning. 220, 130 equals 350. So please don't bash anybody by name. We know who it is. It's fine. I'm used to it. But I would appreciate a share because there's a lot of people that are confused. The SBA has been slow. They screwed us in my and perhaps your opinion on the grant. But my goodness, there are a lot of loan officers there, and we may as well mention tier two, who are working 10, 12 hours a day. And they have funded $220 billion with the help of the folks over at Rocket Mortgage. So, look, there's a lot of good that they have done. So, by the way, if you have a credit score of 570, don't get up, give up. Do a reconsideration. And there's $130 billion there. Go to sba.gov and apply. I have friends of mine still, even this week, they're getting money in three or four days. So, if you have good credit, you've got your taxes done, your W-2s, your Schedule C, if they ever ask you for that, you can get money like this. My final point is the following. In the next 72 hours, you're gonna see me put on the jacket again. I'm gonna address the President, the Senate, and the House. A copy of that video, and I hope you guys share the hell out of it, including with this one, is gonna to go to every Senator, Congressman, and woman. I have an idea, I've mentioned some of this before, on how I can get you $10,000 of cash advance or the balance of thereof without ever reapplying in a loan removing the caps from 150 up to $2 million where it belongs. And if you want more money, 
the hell with the six or eight weeks of reconsideration. It could be done with an email like that. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, please give me a thumbs up. If you want me to help grow your business, you're going to want to subscribe and hit that bell. I love you guys. And thanks for watching.